Have you ever seen someone happier to have a whole punch? to today's crochet vlog. If you don't know me already, I'm Nikki, the face behind Instant Teddies, and I make free tutorials over on my YouTube channel. And I've started to do these crochet vlogs to keep you up to date with the behind the scenes of running my Innocent Teddies account. So in today's vlog, I've got quite a lot to do this week, including market prep, um, designing and preparing a new pattern on top of market prepping, which I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. And also just a couple of little ad mini bits. Before we get into the video though, I am starving, so I need to go get myself some food. Okay, I'm back. So before we get into the video, just a quick update on my small business. This week we hit 600 Etsy sales, which I'm absolutely buzzing about and yeah, I just can't believe it. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has bought and supported my Etsy sales. Great news all around, really great milestone to reach, and it's just really nice to kind of celebrate the small wins. So moving on, like I said this week, I have basically had the idea of most of my patterns are quite large, not like massively large, but in comparison to what I see mostly on Instagram, where people quite like the small market makes or hour, um, under an hour makes. So most of my patterns do take probably just over an hour, if not two hours, um, depending on the speed of your crochet. So I had the idea of basically making a Diddy version of my Bobo Bear pattern. So for those of you who aren't aware, my big Bobo Bear, who I will get right now. So this guy, that was annoying me. He is fully crocheted and he was basically the start of my pattern success, I would say. So my partner and I went to America for a road trip um, back in February now, which feels like ages ago. And I bought, this was the first time I came across, um, I don't know how to say it, so I feel like I'm gonna get absolutely grilled for this, but faux fur? Faux fur? Faux fur yarn. And I was obsessed, like I hadn't seen it before. I wasn't aware it was even a thing. And I literally went crazy in the America hobby stores and I bought loads of it. So I brought it back and as a cute little memento for our travels, I made this guy a proper big classic teddy bear with my American yarn that I purchased. And I wrote up the pattern because he was really popular on my Instagram. Yeah, he has been probably one of my best selling patterns for a good while now. So he was the original Bobo Bear pattern. I then made a smaller one and that is when mini Bobo Bear come about. So he's still relatively big. He's like a nice classic teddy bear size, which I really like. This is him in two different yarns. So just a classic chenille yarn, as you can see here. And then this really lovely rainbowy one, I think I'll drop the link. Uh, I'll drop the name and link below because I don't know it on the top of my head, but it was from Hobbycraft from the UK. Um, so I'll try my best to kind of find the link if I can. So these are what was originally the mini Bobo Bear and just compare the size. So obviously this is the faux fur. I still don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, original large Bobo Bear and this is my mini one that I did just so that people can make a bit smaller, not use as much yarn. And he still works up really nice in faux fur as well. I don't have an example on me, but it's just a really nice classic floppy body teddy, which I really, really like. So I had the idea because I am really obsessed with these classic teddy patterns that I could still make this even smaller. It isn't finished yet. I don't know if you guys saw my last vlog where I said my patterns always look really strange if they don't have like their little nose details on. So you need to give me a moment to finish off the nose details and then I'm gonna do a reveal of my current pattern that I've got in progress. Okay, so let's adjust you a little bit. Just refer back to what the initial mini Bobo Bear looked like. And now we have our pocket size mini Bobo Bear. 
who is absolutely tiny, well, he doesn't actually look that tiny compared to, but he is a lot tinier, a lot less stitches and works up super quick. So he's super cute. Again, a really nice little size, really lovely little limb. So he sits nice um, for shelves, super cute. It's crazy to see kind of the evolution from massive to then tiny. So here we go, our initial, our initial guy to our newest member of our patterns. I'm gonna try my hardest to make quite a few of these because I have many markets coming up. It is Christmas time, so it is the season to have loads of market stalls and Christmas markets um, and things like that. The plan of action is to make loads of different colored ones, get lots of pictures uh, for my pattern write-up, get the pattern written up and tested, and then hopefully eventually published at some point. I mean, it won't be published this week, that will probably be a couple of weeks time, but this week is going to be making lots of different varieties of this bear and ultimately just making lots of stock for my upcoming markets. really nice to kind of crochet, watch a Christmas movie and get some bits done. So I managed to finish off three of my tiny little pocket sized bears yesterday, who I think are super cute. So I've now got four in total, which I think are gonna look super cute on my market stall. Um, I just need to get some pictures of them for my pattern write up and just for some general Instagram features, I guess. But I'm really pleased with how they worked out. They were so quick to make. And like I said, just really easy to kind of turn your brain off and make them while you're watching a movie. So hopefully their patterns will be out um, in the new year. And I just love how little size they are. Like proper little hand, handheld size. So today I am two days away from my very first Christmas market this year. And I have been putting things off until the very last minute probably on purpose because I always just find market prep like an absolute faff. But I'm using you guys to motivate me and I'm using this vlog to motivate me to get it done. Just to let you know guys also on a tangent, I am dressed. It's just really cold in the UK and I can't cope with it. So I am wearing <laughs> this massive hoodie inside and my slippers. Um, but I am actually dressed. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gross. So first things first, I need to get my suitcases down from the loft. And then I have literally gotten out all of my teddies from storage and we are going to try and organize all of these teddies. And yep, yeah, it is as chaotic as it looks. So let's get cracking. <laughs> for this market and the upcoming ones I decided to upgrade and get myself some new little uh, teddy labels to put on them to make them look a bit more professional oh I realized I showed you it upside down the only thing I have realized with these is they're not hole punched so I need to take a trip to Hobbycraft get myself a hole punch so I can then attach these to my teddies because I cannot for the life of me find my hole punch and you know what's gonna happen i'm gonna get all the way there i'm gonna get all the way back with my new hole punch and my old hole punch is gonna be sat there glaring at me going why have you why have you replaced me for all my messy creators out there this is the struggles <laughs> this is the literal struggles you guys i've only gone and bloody found it props to uh 
my partner Pete for literally knowing exactly how my brain works and pointing me in the direction I would find it. I cannot believe, literally, I cannot believe he knew where it was. Have you ever seen someone happier to have a hole punch in their entire lives? <laughs> yesterday, packed up all my teddies, put my card reader on charge and sorted out um, some of the signage that I take, got my table packed into the car already. I'm pretty much good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below on your favourite parts of the video and be sure to join me in next week's vlog to see how I get on at my very first Christmas market this year. See you guys later!